got a 2017 Chevy SS. Chevy SS. <laughs> he is, Here. He on, is fired up. On the dyno. It is a manual. What was your guess, Eric? 418. 418. 405. Kyle is going 405. And I'm going 395. You said 385. Did I say 385? Yeah, he's changing it. Oh, okay. That was my fault. All right, 385. To I won't change it. it I won't change it. All right, well, we're, we're rolled and ready. Get your strap tight. He tried to sneak a few on you, you hear yeah. that? I'm, I'm all in that slide. Here with your questions so, now. So Kyle, what's going on with you this thing? You imitating us imitating you? Yeah. It's not a good look. What's going on with this thing? Give you a guess. Well, I saw you got some cooks boxes, so now it's getting some good yeah, old we're headers. we're cooking up something over here on this thing. Cooking up some headers on we're it. In the, we're in the kitchen mixing. That's can. Okay. That's can. Good old, I think it's a state street. I think that's what it's labeled as. Yeah, good old heads cam on a nice Chevy SS. Did you see any nails this thing had on it? You know, I sure did, Garrett. And how many did it have, Kyle? It had about 25,000. Nice. Yeah, they gave me like a coupon code for my credits and shit back. This thing's fairly fresh. I know. It is fairly fresh. And it's, what's, what's this orange called? Is there a sweet name for it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the name of it. Like Laguna Seca Burnt Orange. Disco Inferno Orange. It was called Orange Blast Metallic. There you go. There's a stupid name. Orange Blast. I was going to throw some random ass fucking noun in there to make it seem so much easier. Still not as good as Heroin White. Who makes Heroin White? That was the, that was the last... Yes, that's you, you were gone. It's hair and white. You called it heroin. Oh. I think the last couple SS's you've done have just been cab only, right? Yeah. I'm definitely interested to see how much of a difference the heads will make. Ah! Alright. Bang bang skeet skeet. Bang bang skeet skeet mother. You can use that part of the video now. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you realize. Come on, Garrett. I know you want to fucking say it. I don't know if you realize, but you did put the heads on this vehicle. I know you're itching to fucking say it. So you got the heads on? Just want to make sure you're awake. You know, you're paying attention. You realize what you're doing. I'm as energetic as I could ever be. I got a monster in me. It's three o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> nice, good call. I get a monster going. Yeah. I'm, fe I'm feeling perfect right now. You know the best feeling ever. I don't physically have anything that I actually need to do tonight. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Well, it's not that big of a deal. Look at them push rods. Yeah. You know what length push, push rod we use? Well, series? Seven. Seven. Forty-five. Oh, close. Forty. Really? Mm. You just look at every one of them because you like them so much, or? No. For a while, there was a problem that they wouldn't come all the way hollowed yeah, out from the factory, oh. which is an issue because then your rocker isn't getting oiled. Mm. Not good. 
So I thought you were for checking mo- for, yeah, for months. We've we've uh hasn't there's been some that's I've I've, I've caught a few. They weren't like that bad. You just gotta push them all the way out. It's just it's just shavings that stay in there. Oh okay. Yeah, I just look to see if there's anything. Make sure it's good all the way through. <laughs> I thought you were looking at them to check if they were straight. <laughs> just to force a habit. <clears throat> Push rods installed. Look at that gorgeous brand new Cook's header. I'm trying to tell you what. Nothing like it. What is that little thing on the floor? What? The little yeah, plug? Yeah. A little extension for your two harnesses. That would explain why you have two of them. It would, wouldn't it? It's starting to make a lot more sense. It does. If we had one, we have a problem. I tell you. Love putting headers in these things. Wow, oh, would you just look at that gorgeous cooked exhaust? Twenty seventeen Chevy SS got our full stage three, so a heads cam package, Cooks, inch and seven eighths headers with cats and a rotafab. Uh, I guess it was already on here when it got here. Manual. See what she does. This thing baseline three eighty seven. Like I said, I believe it had the air intake on it already. so far. 432 torque. Kyle, did you see that smoking? Something's smoking. 465. 437. Something was smoking. I don't know what, but does this air intake have a lid on it? Yes. Might need to take that off. I want to see the difference at least because it definitely wants more air. Make another pull. there. I didn't see any smoke there. I mean, maybe it was still header shit, but. Well, that's like a little thing of cooling got blown off the subframe onto the header or something, but that was good. All right. I'm gonna let this thing cool down. We'll be back. All right, about a 20-ish minute cool down. Final pull on this thing. Twenty-three thousand miles on this, by the way. Seventy nine, four forty five torque. Let me make one more. Same exact.
exact thing. 478, 444. It won last torque that time. Uh, all right, that's it for this thing. So it picked up like a uh, hundred, something like that, right around a hundred, 90 something maybe. Anyway, good for NA. Later. All right, taking out uh, this Chevy SS. Transport is picking it up and bringing it back to Virginia today. So just doing a little final drive, make sure it's all good. I know you guys like when I do these little drives, so I'm gonna try to do them more often. Depending on the car, like this thing doesn't make a ton of power, so it's fine to take out on like normal street tires, but some of these uh, like CR1s and C7Zs and shit that we do that have like stock tires on them, I'll take them out, but I don't go more than a quarter throttle because a lot of times, I mean, it's literally useless on a stock tire. Like at almost no matter what mile an hour you are. Like they make seven, 800, 900 foot pounds of torque. I mean, it's literally useless. Sometimes even if it's got a good tire on it, like if it's, it makes that much power and it's this cold out, like today it's not bad, it's 46. Um, but like yesterday night was, or yesterday morning, it was like 12. Like no exaggeration, I'm pretty sure it was 12 degrees. But stuff like that, it's useless. It literally won't do anything. Like, so I'll take them out and just make sure the idle and all that stuff is good. But other than that, there's no point even trying to remotely give it any throttle. Even with traction control on at like 70 mile an hour, it's, there's no point. But if it's got a half decent tire on it and it don't make a ridiculous amount of power, uh, then I'll take them out and I'll rip on them, you know? A lot of cops out today. I passed one back there, a little undercover, and then there's another one right here, chilling. They ain't looking for me though. We're in Newcastle, we're looking for fucking heroin addicts and shit. So I don't even care, I'll rip on cars, and not necessarily in front of cops, but I'm not mad, or I'm not scared to, like there's a cop right there, I'm not scared to like make a pole, like right down here, whatever. What are they gonna do, pull me over? But I'm gonna go up here, turn around. Oh, actually, this guy just got out of my way. Let me see, I'll do a little third gear at like 40 mile an hour rip now. This traction control on, you could, I don't know, you probably can't hear it in the video. It was like, uh, like, fighting a little bit for traction. But tires are cold, the road is obviously cold. And a lot of times if it's like chance of snow or whatever, a lot of you people down south won't know, but they brine the roads, which, most people i assume up north or in colder states know what that is but for the southern states that don't they like put a they go down with like a truck with like a sprayer and it's like a liquid like almost like i guess it's almost like a liquid salt that they spray down on the roads before it snows or before it's going to freeze to i guess prevent it from freezing or i don't know i don't understand the concept behind it i don't know exactly what it does but uh, they do that fairly often. Basically when it's dry, then it turns to like a, it's like a dust almost. So my mom owns a car wash and it's great for her because if it never snows or never rains or anything, there's another cop in a silver undercover. Um, if it never rains or it never snows or anything, there's just this like powder all over the road that almost looks like dried salt after a snowstorm. Um, and that just kicks all up on the car. And for one, it makes your traction terrible because it's a dust on the road. And then two, it, gets all over the car, so it's, then you gotta go get your car washed, which it's good for my mom. Um, all right, I'll do a little uh, two, three. Traction control's still on. I'm gonna go like 25-ish and then I'll rip on it. And a person didn't pull out in front of me, they pulled into that lane. I didn't want to chance it if they came over in this lane, but second gear, spun, third gear's good. This thing runs good. It's been a while since I drove a uh, manual Chevy SS, but I think this thing picked up like 100 horsepower maybe, if I remember correctly. It's a cool ass color. This guy should be happy with it. We picked it up last week. I think it got here literally like last Friday and uh, they're picking it up today. Well, today's Monday, so it's been here a week, and uh, and it's going back. Uh, all right, 
That's it. Later.